I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will talk about locus problems in 3D space. The question here is, show the locus of all points in space 2 cm from a line AB. We are talking about 3D space, right? Not a plane. So in that 3D space, what will the locus of points 2 centimeters away from a line represent. Think about it. So I'll just make rough sketches here to give you an idea. When we say line, line means something which extends in both the directions, correct? Now we want in 3 space, that means R3, all the points, locus means set of points which meet a criteria. The criteria here is points in the space 2 cm from a line. So we want 2 cm away from a line. So that means it should be kind of like this, right? 2 cm on this side, 2 cm on this side. All the points we're talking about, that means we're looking into a cylinder, right? So in 3D space, it is a cylinder. Do you see that? So that is how it is in 3D space, a cylinder. As the line extends, the cylinder also extends. So that will be the locus of all the points in 3D space where this distance from the line is going to be 2 cm, right? So that becomes the axis of the cylinder, right? Do you get an idea, right? So that is how you have to consider are three locus related questions. Let me take one more example here. So this time let's consider we are given three non-collinear points A, B and C. What is the locus of points 2 cm from A and equidistant from B and C? So here we have we are given three non-collinear points they could have any specific position let us say point a is right here so when we say point a what is the locus of points two centimeters from a that means from here in space what do we have two centimeters away we have a sphere, right? Not a circle. It looks like a circle, but it is a sphere. In R3, right? That is what we get in R3. Set of points which are 2 cm away from, from, let's say this is A, right? So let me write this as A. Now, if we have two other points B, C, we want intersection, right? Given three non-collinear points A, B and C, that means they are not in a straight line. What is the locus of points 2 cm from A and equidistance from B, C? Now, position of B, C could vary, right? It could be in a way that the plane going through B, C does not intersect the sphere, right? For example, I could have B, C here. Now, if these are my points B, C, then what is equidistant from B, C? Well, to find set of points which are equidistant from B, C, we have to check the midpoint of B, C, right? So, any plane which goes through this midpoint will be equidistance from BC, correct? So which I could actually sketch as something like this, something like this. So that becomes a plane which goes through the midpoint, right? So which I could sketch kind of like this. I mean, this is C for us, okay. Do you see that? So that plane. Now the intersection could be there could be many different situations here. So now we are talking about intersection of a sphere with a plane. 
So what are the possibilities? One is that it could go through the sphere, right? So that is the case, for example, in this particular case, it seems that it will go through the sphere. In that case, we'll have circle as a result, right? If they intersect, the plane could be at tangent also, right? If the plane goes through the sphere, correct? Now, it could be a point, it could be tangent to a circle, so it could be a point. I should say actually, when it be a tangent, it think like this, that we have a ball sitting on this paper, right? So this is a plane and we have a ball sitting on this paper, then point is the intersection, right? So when plane is tangent, or we may have nothing as they may not intersect. Right, so if your points are, let us say, not placed like this, where they could go through it or could be tangent, let's say if the point B and C are away, in that case, the plane will be going far away from the two centimeter radius sphere. So in that case, there will not be any point of intersection between the two. Correct? So I hope with this you understand that as soon as we shift towards R3 or 3D space, then we are looking at three dimensional figures like cylinders and spheres and plane. So I hope that concept is clear to you. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be good for me. Thank you and all the best.